All right, uh, welcome to MUC 2105 Intro to Theory Lab class. This is our week four mid lecture. So you should be watching this before uh, the Friday week four class. Okay, we're going to do a couple of things today. Um, and as promised, as I promised in last Friday's class, we are going to spend some time talking about dictation since your first dictation assignment is due on Friday. But first, Let's uh, keep you know, singing and melody kind of at the forefront of our minds. Let's go ahead and start by singing the solfege scale, warming up, ascending and descending. I'm not going to write it down here. We know it now. We'll do it a couple of times. So here we roll C major for you. <clears throat> and let's sing the solfege scale, ascending and descending. One, two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Let's do it again. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. You can repeat that as many times as you like until you feel nice and warmed up. All right. Um, get two items uh, out, if you would, your Berkowitz books, and probably with your Berkowitz books, it should be slid in there with it, is the gesture handbook. Um, good idea to keep those two things together at all times, since they um, uh, really kind of run together, they work together. So, <clears throat> if you take your Berkowitz book, open up to page 7, Berkowitz book page 7, and look at number 11. This is actually uh, the one we didn't get to last Friday. We sang up to number 10. And I want you to analyze and consider number 11 in light of the gesture handbook. Okay, so get out the gesture handbook and then look at number 11. Here we're in the bass clef, we're in C major. And have a look at some of these gestures. We've got eighth notes here. So of course when we sing this eventually we will need to do the magic thing as it relates to rhythm as we know, subdivision. But look at the gestures that are being used in number 11. If you look at the first three notes, that's the first two beats, do, ti, do, that's just simply the baby step down. And then, re, do, re, if we look at the next two beats in that measure, beats three and four, it's also a baby step down. Two of them, a row, uh, two of them in a row on different pitch levels, we call that a sequence. Do, ti, do, re, do, re. We build up a little bit of an anticipation of a continuance of the sequence, and then we don't do it. Mi, mi, fa, sol. We just have a repeated note, and then a three step up. In the second half of the measure, sol, fa, mi, re, do. That is simply a five step down. And then we do a three step down, ti, la, sol. And then after sol, sol, la, ti, do. And then we have the sol do step up. Okay, so full of gestures of the first ten gestures that we learned on last Friday's class. Let's sing this all together in one line. <clears throat> one and two and three and four. Do ti do re do re mi mi fa sol sol fa mi re do ti la sol. Good. Let's do one more. Skip down, or not skip down, let's just go to the very next one. Number 12, con moto. Two four time, two sharps in the key signature, key of D major. Our first syllable is do. Let's analyze this for gestures. Uh, let's go ahead and roll key of D major. Do. Now we observe that the first five notes, do, re, mi, fa, sol, that's a five step. Sol, fa, sol, baby step down. La, sol, fa, sol. You can consider that two ways. You can say la, sol, fa as a three step down or as just an extension of the baby step up. From the sol, la, sol, and then sol, fa, sol as a baby step down. These gestures are not um, absolute. Okay. There are some times where you might say, well, wait a minute, is that a five step up or is that a baby step down? Sometimes uh, they're both at the same time. It just depends on how you want to think about them. 
these gestures, the gestural handbook is not meant to be uh, you know, considered the only way you can look at things, the only way you can uh, analyze or consider a melody, but they're giving you some basic vocabulary that you can start to analyze and see patterns and see uh, commonalities that weave their way through different melodies and make it easier to sight read. All right, and if we go to the second half of that measure, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, there's a really good, uh, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, that's a real good five step down, Do, Re, Mi, Re, Do, three step up, three step down. Let's sing it together. One, and two, and one, and two, and. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Sol, La, Sol, Fa, Sol. Reminds me, the last uh, these two examples that we've done have made use of eighth notes. And that brings in mind the principle of subdivision. Okay, subdivision as relates to rhythm. And I'm even going to write it down on the board. So, we can be sure that we do not forget the principle of subdivision. Open uh, also at the same time, please open your Kazez, a rhythm reading book, to page 13, I believe. Actually, I'm sorry, let's make it page 15. Let's make it page 15. Okay, remember how we defined the principle of subdivision in last Thursday's class, or excuse me, last Friday's class. I'm thinking of UCR now. In last Friday's class, subdivision is the counting or the division of the beat equal to the smallest rhythmic unit in the example. So, if you have page 15 open to your Kazez Rhythm Reading Book and look at number 10 that we did last Friday, you'll see that the smallest note value is the eighth note. Okay? So we will need to count or subdivide at the level of the eighth note. This is 2-4 uh, time, the example is in 2-4 time, if we strictly stuck with quarter note beats, one, two, one, two, that would not tell us anything uh, of how we should uh, perform the eighth notes that are on the ands of the beats. We would have, we need to go one and two and three and four and if we were in a four four time, or one and two and one and two and in the case of two four time, in order to understand what we need at what level we need to subdivide. So let's try number 11 together. Let's take a quick look at that. Number 11, Mororato, 2 4 time. And as you notice, there are a number of uh, different note values here. There are eighth notes, there are half notes, and quarter notes. So we need to subdivide at the level of the eighth note. So I'm going to go ahead and give you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and give you two measures of subdivided 2 4 time. And we'll go ahead and do this one together. Ready? One and two and one and two and T T T T T T T T T T T T piano T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T Ah, all right. So that's just a little bit of a review of what we were doing in subdivision. In next week's class, of course, we will go much further and uh, continue on with subdivisions, even adding double subdivisions, so subdividing at twice, uh, or, or at, at the level of the um, <clears throat> beat that is divided twice, or sixteenth notes in the case of a simple meter like what we've been doing. Now let's go to dictation. Let's talk about dictation. As I promised, I would um, help you a little bit with that, because you do have an assignment due 
next uh, this this coming Friday in dictation. Um, I do have the intro introduction to dictation video here uh, on on the channel, so you know double check that. But we'll we'll do it one more time just to make sure that you can understand. But make sure that you first go to the video that's called dictation assignment one, okay? Because that is an introductory video with me telling you exactly what uh, resources I'm going to provide you, the kind of the key signature, the time signature, the clef, the number of uh, measures, the first note. But let's talk about the dictation homework as, um, as they relate to the gestural handbook, the gestures. Okay. The, all, of the, the, all of the examples for the entire quarter in the dictation assignments are going to be based on the gestures handbook. Actually, I wrote them from the gestures handbook. I've added them all together. So what you're going to get, and these are all going to be in C major, so you don't have to worry, is you'll get um, pieces of information Okay, so let's just say uh, two measures, 4-4 four, four time, key of C major, and the treble clef. I will go to the piano and play. Uh, I'll count off two measures, or one measure, or how many measures, I'll tell you. I'll count off some measures, and then I will play a melody, and you'll need to write it down. I will generally give you the first note. So in this case, 4-4 four, four time, I'm going to give you Do, or C, below the staff, half note right on beat 1. The rest of the notes you are responsible for providing. So I'm going to play a real easy, um, a real easy dictation for you, and then I'll give you the answer and you'll kind of see how this works. Okay, I'm going to count off two measures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. to put the other two measures uh, down here. Four measures. Let me play that again now that you know the number of measures that you have. One, two, three, four. Okay, and if you have your gestures handbook out, you will probably notice that I was using uh, the baby step down gestures. And actually, I think I mean, oh, I do have the camera in the right place, great. Um, the baby step down gestures, do, ti, do. So knowing that, you know the direction of the melodic motion. Recognizing patterns, you will, you will see that in the second half, this the last two measures, I repeated the first two measures. Do, ti, do, do, ti, do, they were repeated. So let's first write down and, 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 and let's uh, add rhythm to it. If you're counting along, you will know do, ti, do. I performed two half notes followed by a whole note. Add this all together, we have the answer. Do, ti, do. Do, ti, do. And that's all there is to it. Okay. Every dictation you have, even if it's 32 bars and full of syncopations and 32nd notes in the key of G-sharp minor, are no more complicated in their essence than this. It's just a matter of knowing where you're starting, knowing how long you have to go, recognizing the gesture, and recognizing the rhythm related to that gesture, and you have the answer. Let's do another one. Same key. Same time signature, same number of measures. Okay. And I'll even start on the same note. Count two measures off, and we're in. So see if you can hear the gesture, and hear the rhythm, and write all the music together. Here's the key of C major. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
All right, and of course you can always pull the slider back and listen to this again if you want to, to try it again without uh, before I give you the answer. Again, if you heard the gesture, you will recognize it as three step up. Do re mi, and then you heard us go down one note and do the three step up again, which is what we call the three step sequence. Re mi fa. So knowing that you have the three-step sequence happening there, and exactly what notes they're beginning on, add to that the rhythm, your knowledge of the rhythm. Half note, half note, whole note, half note, half note, whole note. We can put it all together. Do, re, mi, re, mi, fa. Simple as that. So that was a step more complicated than the previous one, but even the most complicated one is, as I said before, in essence, no more difficult uh, than this one is. Okay, and this, these are similar. These are similar to what your uh, first assignment is going to include. Um, so, you know, perform the first assignment. Uh, this is uh, a one uh, a through one o. I believe, I believe that's fifteen uh, short dictations, just like this. Have the gestural handbook with you where you recognize the gesture and you can say, aha, five-step sequence or baby step down and you know uh, what's going to happen. All right, so good luck. Again, you can always email me or contact me in some way if, you're, if you have concerns or questions about this. Please do so if you have a hard time with the dictations. But good luck and we'll see you Friday.